Thank you. Thank you very much. Boricua. <laughs> uh -huh. Thank you, Leah. I bring greetings from La Casa Blanca. <laughs> I, I want to start with a quick story. It's about, it's about a boy named Jose. Jose's parents were migratory workers from Mexico. He and his family moved frequently, following the strawberry, the cucumber, and the sugar harvest in California. He came to America as a child, not yet speaking English. When he was a senior in high school, Jose himself was working a field near Stockton, California. He mastered English by this point. And he heard on his little transistor radio about a man named Franklin Chang Diaz, the first Latino astronaut to be selected by NASA. Jose was inspired. He wanted to go to space. He just knew he could go to space. So he set out to make that happen. He studied hard. He received support from TRIO's Upward Bound program. <laughs> Jose enrolled at the University of the Pacific and then at UC Santa Barbara. He graduated with a degree in electrical and computer engineering. NASA rejected him 11 times before accepting him in 2004. But by 2008, Jose Hernandez was in orbit on a space shuttle mission. Jose chose to make his dream a reality. And that choice, it brought him to space. It brought him to heights he knew he could reach if his potential could be matched with possibility. That's what TRIO programs do for countless kids like Jose. The more I reflect on my own life, uh, the more I become convinced that persistence is a choice. It's a choice I made as a child, like Jose, starting school, not knowing too much English, intimidated, and who was determined to succeed to make my family proud. I have to tell you, my favorite trio story is when I was a high schooler. Uh, I went to a technical high school. I was learning automotive technology in high school. And uh, there was this art teacher that really saw potential in me. She said, why don't you go to this summer program called Center for Creative Youth? I said, I'll try that. And um, it was at Wesleyan University, like 10 minutes away from where I live. So I went to that program, and it was a summer program. It was the first time my parents let me out of the house. You know, where are you going? And so it was a big deal. But at that same college, there was another program called Upward Bound. And I remember around lunchtime, we would all go down to the cafeteria to eat. And then I, this one Upward Bound student really caught my attention. <laughs> I love the arts even more because of... So... I saw what that program was doing, and some of my cousins were in that program, and I thought to myself, that's a cool program. Listen, long story short, we celebrate our 20th year this summer. Yeah. So I benefited indirectly from TRIO, and I, but I just saw what it did for Marissa and her family and the trajectory of our children, uh, the potential that she was able to reach because of the TRIO's program support. It really is about persistence. More often than not, the ability to persi be persistent isn't something we're born with. It's developed by decisions we make to relentlessly pursue our dreams. Persistence has been at the heart of TRIO programs for 58 years, and it's at the heart of what you do at the Council for Opportunities in Education. You help countless students, those who are most underserved in higher education, and get to and through college. I continue to be impressed by your commitment to first-generation college students like Marissa, students from low-income backgrounds, and students with disabilities. If we believe choices matter, then what choices can we make as education leaders to achieve our shared goal of increasing persistence for our underserved students in higher education? 
What choices can we make to ensure that even more students enroll to college and make it to graduation day? The fact is, and I don't have to tell you this, the pandemic has been especially challenging for students that pre TRIO programs serve. And communities of colors have been disproportionately impacted by the pandemic's health and economic impacts. That has the potential to set us back. But that's why, as Secretary of Education, I'm committed to expanding educational opportunity for all students. I'm committed to leveling the playing field, as is the entire Biden-Harris administration. To do that, we're increasing the maximum value of Pell Grants, which helps student, millions of students make it to college. We're deepening our partnerships with historically black colleges and universities, minority-serving institutions, including Hispanic-serving institutions, and tribal colleges and universities. The President has also called on Congress to dramatically expand federal aid grants to these vital institutions. We're doing even more to collaborate among federal agencies on shared goals and removing silos. In fact, a new partnership between the Department of Education, NASA, and the Department of Health and Human Services will help more students, particularly underrepresented students, pursue college degrees and careers in science, technology, engineering, and math. And we're supporting our TRIO programs to ensure that diversity, equity, and inclusion remain at the heart of their efforts. And let me just repeat that, because across our country, it seems like inclusion is under attack. We're not going to let that happen under our watch. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with every single one of our 800,000 students served by the TRIO programs. Every eligible student should have access to the wealth of resources that TRIO programs have to offer. Yet, only 7%, only 7% of the students served, uh, are served by TRIO programs today. We need to change that. This administration fully supports TRIO and will continue to be among your biggest champions. So let's double down our commitment to help our students soar to new heights. Let's bridge the opportunity and achievement gaps. Let's seize the moment that this pandemic has caused for us to develop a newer sense of urgency to give opportunity to students who has, have historically been underrepresented. Let's fortify the diverse teacher pipeline. It's hard to be what you can't see. Let's support the social, emotional development and mental health of our young people. For our students like young Jose Hernandez, the sky does not have to be the limit. There are no ceilings to our children's potential. You know, a lot of people, when I was coming up, I didn't fit the demographics. I didn't fit the profile of a future Secretary of Education. So it's critically important for me to be here to support and say, there will be a TRIO student, a TRIO graduate serving as president in the future. If we can't believe it, we can't see it. Just like I'm so proud to say that there's a vice president that came from an HBCU. Listen, before I close, I want to give you another fun fact about Jose. When Jose uh, was in space, he sent the first Spanish language tweet from space. <laughs> What did the tweet say? He wrote, Espero la cosecha de mis sueños silva como inspiración a todos. I hope that the harvest of my dream serves as an inspiration for everyone. And, and so I say to everyone here today with supports like those you provide, we will empower all of our students to reap the full harvest of their dreams. We will ensure there's no limit to what we can accomplish together. Thank you for your work. Thank you. Thank you.